Professor Richard Washington is Extremis desert scientist and has dedicated his life to studying the world's weather patterns to help combat climate change. I grew up in a coastal city of, of South Africa and it was an amazing place to grow up because one day it would be behaving like the tropics, so thunderstorms and then the next day cold fronts and then thunderstorms back again and the winds would shift almost on a daily basis and that converted then into a lifetime of studying the stuff to try to get to the bottom of the puzzle of how it all worked. My name is Richard Washington, I'm Professor of Climate Science at the University of Oxford. Looking back, one of the real game changers in, in my career was the simple act of buying a, a very old and half-broken 1969 Land Rover and heading out into the wilderness and to the deserts of, of Southern Africa. I soon learned that, that going off into empty areas, desert areas or, or the mountains, was, was something that brought great joy to me. It was about discovery and discovery leads to immense joy too. I'm pretty clear that I'm the luckiest person in the world. I absolutely love my job, every bit of it. All the projects that we've been engaged with have brought discoveries of one sort or another and have helped with the problem of understanding the climate system, of understanding climate change. And, and that reward is immense. It, it feels like you're leaving something behind forever when you figure out how something works. I study tropical climate systems mainly uh, but also the desert systems of the world and uh, I focus largely on the African continent. Uh, Africa's got about 17 percent of the global population and historically it's responsible for less than half a percent of global greenhouse emissions, cumulative emissions. And it's often said that Africa is going to be hardest hit by, by climate change. So I, I feel that sense of responsibility really to figure out how that climate system works and, and how it will respond in the future so that people can be forewarned and, and adapt as best they can. For years and years as a climate scientist we were spreading doom and gloom without solution to hand. An extreme eve for us has been an absolute breath of fresh air because it, it holds the solutions in its hands and it's spreading the word like we can't as climate scientists. The number of people that are engaging with it and, tuning in and so on, it's just wonderful to see. So it's been a, a spectacular uh, platform. There's no doubt that I've been driven along by a deep appreciation of nature and its capabilities. It's taken billions of years to develop. It's not something we as humans can make. Looking after this greatest gift that all of us have ever had is a responsibility that we individually cannot shirk. It's the most important thing in my mind that we can do as humans. Thank you.